what is up this is that GTA fan 720 and as you can tell by the screen cap there's something quite nice going on the screen um, I'm going to be reacting to the live presidential debate that is happening live I have muted it but this is 100% live happening as I'm recording this so I wanted to kind of stream this live but I don't know uh, I just been having I just by the time I would spend the time actually setting it up because I forgot I didn't have it set up to do streaming since the last time I reformatted my laptop uh, there's no way I could do that and he's someone's freaking calling me in the middle of the video calling me in the middle of the freaking video oh my god quit calling me Jeez, literally the moment I start recording, someone calls me, and then they won't stop calling me, yet the entire day when I literally have nothing to do, that's when all my all my friends are just like, yeah, I'm too busy. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> back to this, so I'm reacting to this, this is going to be interesting, but um, let's, let's go. Let's just, come on, let me unmute it. You go to Ohio. You go to Florida, you go to any of them. You go upstate New York. Our jobs have fled to Mexico and other places. We're bringing our jobs back. I am going to renegotiate NAFTA. And if I can't make a great deal, then we're going to terminate NAFTA and we're going to create new deals. We're going to have trade. But we're going to, term we're going to terminate it. We're going to make a great trade deal. And if we can't, we're going to do it. We're these, going to go a separate idiots, way. These because idiots it has been a disaster. They still we're going to think cut taxes massively. Actually, we're going to cut business taxes they, they massively. Actually still They're think going to start people hiring people. We're going to bring the $2.5 trillion that's, that's offshore fine. back into yes, the country. We are going to start the engine rolling again because right now our jobs, country is dying at 1% GDP. Well, let me translate that if I can, Chris, because... Um, you can't. The fact is, he's going to uh, <laughs> advocate oh, for yeah. the largest tax cuts we've ever seen. Three times more than uh, the tax cuts under the Bush administration. I have said repeatedly Success. throughout this campaign, I will not raise taxes on anyone making $250,000 or less. I also will not add a penny to the debt. I have costed out what I'm going to do. He will through his massive tax cuts, add $20 trillion to the debt. Well, he mentioned the debt. We know how to get control of the debt. When my husband was president, we went from a $300 billion deficit to a $200 billion surplus, and we were actually on the path to eliminating the national debt. When President Obama came into office, he inherited the worst economic disaster since the Great Depression. He has cut the deficit by two-thirds. So, yes, I can't one really of the ways you done the worst go after the debt, one of the ways you keeping track create of that, jobs is by investing really in did people. A terrible job. So, I do have investments, investments in new jobs, investments in education, skill training, well, tell and us, the what opportunities are those for people to get ahead and stay ahead. What are these That's investments That's the kind of approach of. that will work. Cutting taxes on the wealthy, we've tried that. Secretary. It has not worked the way that uh, it has been Dr. Tricklin, I want, I want to pursue your plan uh, because in many ways it is similar to the Obama stimulus plan in 2009, uh, which has led to the slowest GDP growth since 1949. Correct. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, you told me in July when we spoke that the problem is that President Obama didn't get to do enough in what he was trying to do with this stimulus. So is your plan basically more, even more of the Obama stimulus? Well, it's a combination, Chris. And let, let me say that when you inherit the level of economic catastrophe that President Obama inherited, uh, it was a real touch and go situation. I was in the Senate before I became Secretary of State. I've never seen uh, people as physically distraught as the Bush administration uh, team was because of, of what was so happening to the economy. The I personally believe on, I that the steps that President it. Obama took saved the economy. He doesn't get the credit he deserves for taking some very hard positions. But it was a terrible recession. So now we've it dug was, ourselves out of I it. Think. We're standing, but we're not yet not running. A political person. So what I'm I am proposing what I is that we invest from wrong. the middle out and the ground this is up. My opinion after all. Not the top down. That is not going to work. That's why what I have put forward doesn't add a penny to the debt. 
but it is the kind of approach that will enable more people to take those new jobs, higher paying jobs. We're beginning to see some increase in incomes, and we certainly have had a long string me, of increasing jobs. We've got to do more to get the whole economy moving, and that's what I believe I will be able to do. M Mr. Trump, even conservative economists who have looked at your plan say that the numbers don't add up, that your idea, and you've talked about 25 million jobs created, 4% over a 10 year period growth is unrealistic. Uh, and they say, you talk a lot about growing the energy industry, Trump does they say with oil prices as low as they are right now, that's unrealistic as well. Your response. So I just left some high representatives of India. They're growing at 8%. Uh, China is growing at 7%, and that for them is a catastrophically no low number. We are growing, our last report came out, and it's right around the 1% level, and I think it's going down. Last week, as you know, at the end of last week, at least he was they honest came out and he with said, an I think it's going jobs down. Report. He's not like, terrible it is for sure going said, down. Is that the last jobs report before the election? Because if it is, I should win easily. It was so bad. <laughs> the report was so bad. Look, our country <laughs> is stagnant. I should win easily. We've lost just, our just jobs. Give, We've lost our businesses. We're not making things anymore, relatively speaking. Our product is pouring in from China, pouring in from Vietnam, pouring in what from product? all over the world. I've visited so many communities. This has been such an incredible education Name for me. One. I've gotten to know so many. I've developed so many friends over the last year. And no, year, Home Alone 2 does not count. And they cry when they see what's happened. I passed factories that were thriving 20, 25 years ago. And because of the bill that her husband signed and she blessed 100%, it is just horrible what's happened to these people in these communities. Now, she can say that her husband did well, but boy, did they suffer as NAFTA kicked in because it didn't really kick in very much, but it kicked in after they left. Boy, did they suffer. That was one of the worst things that's ever been signed by our country. Now she wants to sign Trans-Pacific Partnership, and she wants well, it. I actually she lied when she said she didn't call it the gold standard in one of the side. debates. She totally lied. She did call it the gold standard, and they actually fact-checked, and they said I was but, right. I, so I, I, I want to give you a chance to, to cover briefly speak to that, and I want to give it to one-sixth of the economy, which is Obamacare, but go ahead, well, briefly. First, let me, let me say, number one, uh, when I saw the uh, final agreement, for TPP, I said I was against it. It didn't meet my. T oh, lovely, lovely lag and swastikas in the chat. <sighs> okay, yeah, I can't actually see through the paper. Freaking Philo. Let's get the light out of the way. It's locked up. <laughs> and there's a. There's a thing. Okay, um. That's why you don't get Comcast internet. I cannot wait till we dump this crap and get CenturyLink. But by the way it sounds, I don't think CenturyLink's gonna be that much better. Who knows, it might be worse. Well, this clearly is, doesn't want to respond. It's locked up. Maybe this was a sign that I shouldn't have watched this. Okay, this clearly isn't going to work, but you know what? I've had enough. I don't even care anymore. One of these idiots is going to become our president. Who do I honestly vote for? Neither. I'm just because one of just because one of them is not as bad as the other one doesn't mean I'm going to vote. Because you vote for a person who you want to be president, not the one you hate the least. But I feel like it's almost never been like that. Never. But there is um, one silver lining. Actually, no, there isn't. I did a bit of research on Gary Johnson. And, uh, yeah, he tried to, he tried to have sex with a mountain. Not the kind of person I want to be president. I don't know, maybe I'll just rant a few minutes about the different things. Um, first off, the thing about, let's talk about Donald Trump and the locker room talk. The locker room talk. 
Oh boy. Um, yeah. Everyone